All right, in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to take a static site and host it on Zite. ZEIT.co. Uh, this is just a static site or a node site hosting platform, but it's also super easy to, to get up and running. So we'll take a look at that real quick. So let's hop over to Terminal to get started. Uh, so we'll make a directory to host our site. And I'm just going to follow the tutorial here that you see at ZEIT.co slash docs. They have a five minute guide. So I'll run you through that. Uh, so to get started, we'll make a directory uh, called my website, and we will navigate into my website. Okay, and once in there, uh, we can create a file, index.html, and then we'll hop over into Sublime, and we'll Go figure out where that lives. So inside of Bootcamp, inside of my website, and open that guy. And then we'll use Emmet to give ourselves. Oh, open up the file. All right. Then we'll use Emmet, and that will give us a big document. And we'll just put a simple H1 tag with "Hello World." Okay. So very simple HTML file. Um, so if we come over into Finder, we can come in here and see we've got this nice little simple thing. So from there we can walk through. Now I'm, I'm assuming that you have a Zite account, so go sign up for that. Um, so once you've navigated into this directory, uh, we can do now, which is the CLI or command line interface that Zite provides. You can download that and install it. And then we'll do a login. It's going to prompt you for your email address and it does not prompt you for a password. What it does is it redirects you to your email and so we'll go into our email and refresh that. They send an email with a link. You can click on that guy and if you watch the command line, once it actually loads, cool, I'm in. We can close that tab, go back to our five minute guide. So it says ready authentication token, personal details saved. So we've got all that set up. And uh, we already jumped into the creating an HTML file. So that's done. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much all you need. You can also do a simple node app uh, or you can launch a app inside of a Docker file um, either way. And so what we do is type now, and what this is going to do is take all the files in this directory and publish them. So it's getting ready to deploy my web site under my account. Now I've got a, a slight step up from the free account, it's like $15 a month. Um, so what you see uh, may be a little bit different. So in a public account, uh, it takes your code, the source directory, and all the log files and makes those publicly accessible as well. Uh, whereas a, a paid account doesn't necessarily uh, make all of your details public. So you can go ahead and select the URL that they've provided for you and head over here and enter that into Chrome and you should see simple hello world. As you can see, it was like stupid simple to get this publicly accessible. So the more complex part uh, is to actually get a, a public domain. So in the five minute tutorial, uh, they talk about how to get your, add your credit card to the system and then upgrade your system uh, and then redirect with an alias. But in here, there's a link uh, somewhere that talks about the custom domains. I already have the tab open. So we'll go over here. So again, zite.co docs features DNS. So what we want to do is point a, a publicly hosted domain or a parked domain, if you will. In my case, I've got my domains on GoDaddy. Uh, so what we need to do is make one of those domains point over to the Zite servers. So to do that, we scroll through here. Uh, somewhere we will find their DNS servers. Did I skip that? Ah, point your domain to our name server. So we'll open that. That'll give us a list of all their DNS. 
And so what I'm most interested in is probably Dallas. So we can take this IP address and we'll go in. Now you should always have more than one. Hopefully this has still got me logged in here. Oh, seems to have vomited on me. Uh, so let's go to, I guess I'll walk you through from my end. So go into my products. They move this stuff around quite a bit. So you have to go find, forgive me, I've got a bunch of domains. I'll have to find the one that we're looking for. All right, so in this case, I want to manage veterineducation.fund. Okay. Well, we don't want to do any of that. They're always trying to sell more services. Uh, what we want to do is manage our DNS. Okay, and we're going to change the name servers. So we want custom name servers. So we're going to add the IP address of this name server. Let's bring this guy closer. Okay. Let's go grab at least one more. Uh, it looks like California might be the next one. Okay, and all that this is saying is when requests come uh, for my domain, my domain being uh, Veteran Education Fund, uh, it's going to route them over to uh, the Zite infrastructure. And so now we have uh, two name servers that this guy will be hosted under, if you will. Um, so with that done, we can go back to this. Let's see where to go. All right, so now we need to alias. Uh, basically our app to this domain. So we can say alias my deployment to a given domain. Uh, the deployment is this URL that they just gave us, which we should have up here. Okay, so we can do uh, alias, I guess now alias, and then that guy. And we want it to point to uh, veterineducation.fund. Veterineducation.fund. All right. Haven't done this before. We'll see what this does. Okay. So now when you're updating your DNS information, uh, that can take a little bit of time. Uh, so this may need to propagate. Okay, so once you run that command, you'll see that the first time uh, it didn't actually work. So the domain Veteran Education Fund uh, is not pointing to zite.co. Uh, that's, that's very common. So when you first go and repoint this, it takes a little bit of time to propagate. And when we're doing that propagation, we just need to test it. So we'll scroll down here and uh, let's ping. Go ahead and ping veterineducation.fund. Uh, let's see where this actually hits. So it looks like it's still hitting the original. We'll scroll up. Okay. Yep. So resolved here. Um, so that did not work. So we want to wait for this IP to actually change at some point. And it may take longer than this video allows before it fully propagates. So I'll wait for this and then come back. All right, in my case, it didn't take more than a couple of minutes, but what you'll see over here now when I try to resolve veterineducation.fund, it's just spinning. 
There's nothing on the other end of it currently to receive that request, so we'll go ahead and kill that tab. And if I come back here and rerun my ping, before it was resolving to an IP address, and GoDaddy is nice enough to actually respond to it, but now you can see it's actually going somewhere other than GoDaddy. So we should be able to rerun the alias command, and we'll see if that has a difference now. Okay, so what we see here is we've detected the zeit.world name servers, so it's configuring records for us. It's taking care of all that setup. We didn't have to go into UI and configure anything fancy. So this whole Zite now concept, now being the, the CLI, really does uh, remove a lot of the complexity of setting up servers. Not exactly sure what it's doing here, but definitely taking a little bit of time. So it says that the propagation may have failed. So let's go back over here and run veteraneducation.fund again. I would think that once it actually points to Zeit, Zeit would actually tell the request to, to error out. We'll see what that does. While doing that, I'll go ahead and run the alias command one more time and see if it's propagated appropriately. Ah. Not sure if it said verification OK last time. Ah, OK. Looks like we're moving the right direction. So now we're getting an SSL certificate. It does that for you just as part of their hosting. So you get both secure and non-secure traffic. And it looks like it's all good to go. And so now let's go ahead and kill this process in Chrome and we will start it again. But now we should be able to browse to veteraneducation.fund and see our hello world. See if that works. Wonder if I have to redeploy it again. No, that did not work. Let's see if this guy still resolves. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so it failed the first time, and then it worked. Okay, so let me refresh this. Okay, much better. All right, so just to make sure that we see that all this is working, let me go ahead and squish this command prompt again, and we will reset it so it's nice and empty. Okay, so let's add some stuff to our HTML file here. And we'll make a paragraph tag, and here is some new text to verify this is not a trick. Okay, and if you recall, we just go into uh, the web directory, so my website, and just hit now. All right, now the interesting part with Zite is that it does support uh, effectively like the, the Canary style hosting. So when I publish this new one, uh, you'll see that it's actually published at a new URL. So every new publish gets its own instance. So if I come over to Veteran Education Fund, it's still going to have that old URL. So it still resolves to hello world. So what we need to do is take this new service, and that's really cool because you can test the new service at this new URL. So we can come over here and we'll open a new tab. And this new service should have all of the new HTML changes that we put in. Okay, cool. And so the next step is just to go now alias this to veteraneducation.fund veteraneducation.fund okay and so it's just going to repoint our dns which it already knows about and it'll repoint to that new endpoint okay so if we go back to the original tab if we refresh this guy that guy should resolve to the new site with the new text Cool. 
pretty easy to get up and running. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments. Thank you.